Hey everybody, it's Toronto Guy here with another phenomenal, yay, episode of Toronto Guy Cooks. Ah, I felt like cooking, I thought why not film it, you know what I mean? Especially because today we're going to make something very simple yet amazing, alright? We're going to make a simple pasta dish yet amazing pasta dish. What are we making? We're making this. Goat cheese and roasted red pepper penne with basil. Fresh basil. It's going to be amazing. Let's get to it. Okay, we're going to start. I am going to actually roast my red peppers. Yeah, that's right. Fresh, baby. You can obviously buy them jarred if you want to go that way. So if you're doing it the proper professional way, that's right. We're going to broil it. I got my broiler already broiling. I've got a nice, lovely pan, baking pan here, lined with aluminum foil. I put some EVOO, some lovely extra virgin olive oil. Just line it up. As we're gonna broil, that's right, we're gonna broil the red peppers. We're not gonna bake them, we're gonna broil them. Broiling is like a lot quicker, hotter uh, uh, um, procedure. It's like a toaster, only not a toaster, it's in the oven. So we brush, ooh, see, I already made a mess. What do we see? What do we say here? You don't make a mess, you're a failure. That's right, you don't make a mess when you're cooking, then you're a miserable failure. All right, now, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder, just to add some little extra flavor for our roasted red pepper, there we go. Of course, you can use fresh if you want, but I have uh, garlic powder, so let's just take the easy way out, because why not? There we go. Give it a nice little brush all over. It's already smelling awesome. Yeah, baby, love it. All right, now, got our red peppers. You can't probably can't tell, because the lighting in here is not good, because all you people will not give me enough money to become rich and famous. I thought you were my friends, man. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna take our red peppers, place them, skin side up, Give them a little crush to flatten them nicely. There we go. Right. There we go. And now we're gonna put them in our oven to broil for 15 minutes. The skin's gonna get all nice and charred black. Oh, it's gonna smell amazing in my place. Probably not in your place if you're going the simple way, but if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, it's gonna smell amazing. Anyway, let's put them in the oven real quick. There we go, we're gonna set the timer. 15 minutes, there we go. And we're just gonna let them broil for 15 minutes. Now it's very important. I know I say this a lot, but I really mean this now, okay? You know, like, you know how people will say, you know, if you talk to your plants, play music for your plant life, they'll actually realize it and they'll, they'll be happy. Well, it's the same with cooking, okay? You gotta sway for fifth, the full 15 minutes. You just gotta go like this. Otherwise, it's not gonna turn out right. So, okay, so I'll see you in 15 minutes as I sway and sway and sway. Yeah, let's go there. I've been swaying the entire time. Yeah, for real. 15 minutes, I've just been going like this. Right, Sally? If Sally could talk, she'd say, that's right, man, she'd confirm. So yeah, sway. All right, all right, that's right, I swayed. There we go, let's turn off the broiler. Our roasted red peppers should be roasted red and peppery. Let's check them out. Oh, look at that lovely, lovely, lovely blackened skin. Ah, that's supposed to happen, everybody. For real. You've seen me make them. You've seen me make these before, man. That's how you do it. So, now we're gonna grab a lovely Ziploc bag. That's right. No free advertising for the Ziploc people. Johnson family. And we're gonna take our Roasted red peppers, place them in the aforementioned lovely Ziploc bags, no free advertising. There we go. Eh, look at it not cooperating, man. It wants to keep the awesomeness of the roasted red peppers all to itself. Bad pan! All right, now, let's zip it up. No free advertising for Ziploc, Johnson & Johnson. Now you can put these in the freezer, or the, I'm gonna put, uh, I just gave it away. I'm putting these in the freezer to cool them down so then I can, they can be cool. I can remove the black skin, chop them up, and continue. So let's put them in our freezer. Lovely. Now we're gonna turn off our stove light and we're gonna remove all of this stuff and be back in literally about a minute or so, okay? Like right now. And now we're gonna start making our sauce and making our pasta. Sauce pot, yeah. Making the pasta in here. You can probably tell, see that, see that? See how it's like, yeah. See what happened is I was doing the dishes and then while drying this awesome, lovely rock pot, drops it on the floor, boom. So now the glass lid will not go on there, but we're still using it anyway because they're durable, like the rock. 
You smell what I'm cooking? All right, let's start with filling up some water. Go, some hot water. We're gonna add a little salt to it. Yeah, yeah, let's shake it. You know, sometimes the salt gets all rocky, you know? So give it a shake, break it all up. You know, it's like, I don't wanna leave. I love my other salt buddies. Well, too bad. We're gonna cook you up and eat you. Right. To that, we're gonna add some lovely EVO hope. That's right. There we go. And we're gonna turn on our lovely and already I can smell the roasted red pepper. It smells good in here. Really good. <sighs> Let's give it a little mix up first. There we go. Yeah. <sighs> Seriously, I can already, I can smell the roasted red pepper still. And, uh, <sighs> you see, you know what these companies need to do? Johnson & Johnson, no free advertising. I know you make the kind of air freshener products. Make the products, make, make air fresheners that smell like awesomely cooked food. Make roasted red pepper air freshener. Ah, some smoke coming out. I obviously dripped some oil on the pot on this burner earlier, but we're all fine, all good. Now, for our cheese sauce pan, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just about a stick of butter. I'm gonna use the remainder of my salted butter. This is about, this, this is about a tablespoon and a half. We're gonna use it all and melt it in here and continue. So what we're gonna do, this is remove this stuff, set it aside. And once our little sauce pot is hot enough to start melting the butter, we're going to start melting the butter in the aforementioned hot pot. Also known as right now. <sighs> All right. Now, our water ain't boiling yet, but our saucy pot's uh, just about heated. Let's lower it down to medium. We don't want to burn stuff. We're actually, we're, you know, remember, we're cooking dairy stuff here. Let's add our butter. Yeah, it's not doing the sizzle thing. Let's participate. Ah, let it melt. Oh. Oh, the smell of, oh, seriously, the smell of melting butter combined with the previously uh, oven roasted sweet peppers with the garlic, oh, just amazing, love it. Let's let that melt and we'll continue. Oh, love it. Ah, look at our lovely salted butter all melted away nicely. Now to that, we're gonna add heavy cream. This is three quarter cups of lovely, beautiful, sexy heavy cream. Yeah, let's give it a little, just so we're gonna cook it on medium for a little bit. Just combine, let the cream and the butter get to know each other. They are, after all, the same family, right? Yeah, they were probably from the same cow, man. That's gonna make it even better, yeah. Yeah, all we need is that cow's beef and it'll be even better, yeah, that's right. Sorry, not sorry. There, we give it a nice mix up to combine it. Remember, we're cooking dairy, we're gonna cook it on not too high, don't wanna burn nothing. So right now it's cooking on the medium. There we go, lovely. Ah, yes. Now let's lower it even more. Now it's going in between minimum and medium, so low medium. To this, it's time for the uh, main event. There's 140 grams of goat's milk cheese. No free advertising for President's Choice. We're gonna use every little bit of it, baby, because I am a big fan of freaking goat cheese. We're just gonna put it on in there, baby. We're gonna plop it in there, and we're gonna slowly just keep stirring it until it all bonds and they all have a big dairy orgy in our pan, in our little pot, sorry. Ah, uh, uh, mm, mm. Oh, oh my God, oh. And as you can probably see, the water is now boiling. Let's give this a little stir real quick as we're gonna slowly melt the goat cheese into awesomeness. Now this, this is the original lid that went on this pot, but that's because the pot's all messed up because I dropped it on the floor. So at least I can still cover it somewhat, it'll boil, it's so lovely. Now we're gonna add three cups of uncooked penne. Penne pasta is so lovely, so simple, the shape of it. You can just grab a spoon and just eat everything as opposed to doing that spork and spoon thing with your spaghetti, like you're some rich person. This is how I eat my spaghetti. I take a fork and a spoon and I go like this, and then I go like this and I don't slurp. I just go, mmm, the spaghetti is lovely. Well, that's how we're doing it here. Penne, let's give it a mix. And we're gonna give it a stir with our salt and our loveliness, EVOO. We're gonna cook it. Uh, we're gonna go for about eight minutes. <sighs> Lovely. <sighs> and while the sauce with the goat cheese is melting and slowly being awesome, we're soon gonna take out our roasted red peppers, remove the skin, and then we're gonna take over from there. Oh, everything smells amazing in here. 
We're gonna add that. We're gonna chop it all on up in our blender. Our lovely magic bullet's gonna be making an appearance. We're gonna add some fresh basil, and then we're gonna combine everything. Oh, maybe even add, maybe I might even add some salt, some, well, I'm gonna add salt to taste, but maybe even some pepper. Oh, my mouth is water. Maybe even some, some red pepper flakes. You know, maybe even a little fresh basil leaf on the top to make it look all lovely and pretty in the picture. Ah, oh, lovely. Continue stirring our goat cheese milk, sorry, cream and butter sauce. Ah, oh, love it. And of course, continue stirring your penne pasta. As we continue this cook, this lovely, lovely, simple pasta dish, impress everybody, everybody. They'll think, hey man, is this leftovers from a world-class restaurant? You're like, no, man. This awesome professional chef on YouTube showed me how to make it, man. You should check it out. So yeah, go check it out. Give me money. I can, I, can, I have PayPal's and stuff. You can send money and I can get, get better equipment in here, better lighting. Uh, anyway, we're gonna continue cooking as I'm here sad with the lack of your money. Uh, we continue melting our goat cheese <laughs> and cooking our penne. So we'll just cut to that right now. All right, sorry I'm just emotional because of how selfish you all are with your cash. Oh, our goat cheese is almost fully melted and our cheese sauce pot has lowered a little even more. Got about another four, uh, officially just went down to four. Four minutes left on our penne. Give it another mix real quick. Gonna grab our peppers. Here are our peppers now. Because the skin is so lovely charred, It'll be very easy to peel it off. So we're gonna put our peppers in our, we're not gonna do this on camera because seriously, you people won't give me money. <sighs> but we're just gonna just do it off screen. And then we're gonna, uh, oh my God, it smells amazing. And anyway, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna peel the, stop. Oh man. We're gonna peel the peppers off screen of the skin and, and then we'll continue, man. Oh my God. Oh, come on, man. Why do I do this to myself, people? Why don't you, uh, all you people want my food? You're bad. That's why you don't give me money. Because you're bad. Let's cut to the next scene. Hmm. All right. That's been eight minutes. Pasta's done. The red peppers are peeled off their skin. Now I also lowered the temperature of the goat cheese sauce to very minimum. Don't want to burn nothing. Lovely. Turn that off, keep that on. We're gonna drain our penny. Right, there's our sad penny, lacking all the cash that you people are hoarding from me. To this, we're gonna add some a little bit of olive oil to drizzle to add some lovely little uh, shininess to it. Uh, there we go. Give it a little mix up. Let all everything drip into the pot. Ah, oh, lovely. Putting my hand over a recently used burner. There we go, now we're fine. Ah, very, very lovely. Let's keep this there. Now, keep this a little mixed. Still got a little bit of a chunks of goat cheese and then it's fine, it's eventually gonna dissolve. Now, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take our peeled roasted red peppers. There we go. We're gonna put them in our lovely magic bullet. Ah, oh, come on, man. Why do I do these things to myself, yo? Ah, oh, lovely. Let me get this awesome, lovely goop off my hands. And we'll plug in our magic bullet base. There we go. Lovely. And to our container of roasted red pepper, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. There we go, about a, that's about a, maybe half a tablespoon. There we go, because when we blend it, we want it to be like saucy at the same time so we can get it out, you know what I mean? You don't know what I mean, you all don't know how to cook. And to this, we are gonna add, ah, oh, yes. We got some fresh basil. Oh, it's probably about a, maybe two tablespoons chopped. Let's put it on in there, baby. There we go, lovely. Lovely indeed. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Oh, I can smell the basil. Basil, fresh herb, period, are amazing. Lovely. And we're gonna do like this, put our thingy on. Lovely. And we're gonna destroy it, baby. We're gonna pulverize the crap out of it. All right, is it destroyed enough? Let's give it a little look. 
hopefully if it's destroyed enough, they've just been just destroyed and decimated. Oh, oh, come on. Why? Okay, we're gonna add it to our cheese sauce, man. Yeah, here you see the cheese, let me see. Uh, had to look at the viewfinder. All right, there we go. Of course, if you want to, a probably simpler way to do this, I didn't even realize it, would be to put the cream as well into this and blend it all together instead of having to, you know, scoop this all out. But hey, I choose to live on the edge, so let's scoop it all out as much as we can. So yes, definitely an easier way to do this would have been put the cream or maybe even a little bit of the sauce in with that. Yeah, but yeah, I'm a rebel. So I'm gonna give it a mix up to form our beautiful, lovely oh, sauce. Oh, oh. oh, yes, I love it. Oh, awesome. So awesome. Oh, some, mm. oh, come on now. Just come on. Oh, damn. Why am I just so awesome in the cooking places, you know what I mean? All right. Give it a little taste here. None for you. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, do one last mix up of our pasta. Put it in the pot now. There we go. Ooh, see, even making a more mess. That means I'm even more awesome. <sighs> yeah. You go in there. I'm going to eat you too. Turn you into poo. All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's add our cream, our sauce. Of course, if you want an even thicker sauce, you can just add less cream or more cheese. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now we're gonna give it to me. Who, who gonna get the honor? You know what? We're gonna give. Uh, you can leave. You've had enough. You have enough. You have enough. You've had enough screen time. There we go. Let's give it a mix up. Ah, lovely. I like this. It's, oh, come on now. Give it a taste, man, real quick. Okay, let's give it a taste, man. For real, none for you. Oh my God, that's awesome. Optional, gonna add some pepper. I'm gonna add even more flavor to it. There we go, uh, that's kind of man. That's about maybe half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon full. And some red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat and some visuals, there we go. Lovely, about, about, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon full. Do it another mix up. Oh, see, it's thickening. It's coating the penne. Getting along. Making out with each other. All for me and none for you, because you all ain't gonna cook this. You just watch the videos. Well, some of you. Yeah, I'm not gonna mention any names who don't. But you know who you are who don't. May as well mention your names. Not that you're gonna watch this, man. All right. Oh, give it another taste, man, real quick. Quick sway! Oh my god, that's amazing! Holy crap balls! Alright, now we just got a bullet, but let me just have some more real quick. Mm. Oh, come on, man. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, the goat cheese with the red pepper. Oh my god, it's amazing. Mm. Alright, man, stop screwing around, man. We're gonna take a picture. So we can end the video and I can eat the rest of this. Oh, oh that's so freaking good. Oh, oh, get in there. Look how thick and extra creamy the sauce is. Of course, the, the lighting's not doing any justice because you're all so selfish with your money. Oh, and let's grab our fresh basil leaf for a prettiness effect. Get on there, there you go. <sighs> there you have it kids. As usual, the lighting does no justice because you all do me no justice with by, by hoarding your own well-earned money. So we're just gonna have to take a picture and insert it right here. And there you have it kids. Amazing, amazing, amazing with capital letters. Goat cheese, roasted red pepper penne with fennel, with, fennel, with basil. Amazing. Toronto guy has cooked and has succeeded at uh, making you all jealous. 
Thanks for watching. Oh my god. More cooking videos in the future, whenever I decide to make them. Check out my gaming streams. Super Mega Baseball. Football coming soon. Mafia 3 and more. And we'll see you next time because I'm going to eat this all right now. Every bit of it. Go away.